Hi guys and welcome back to Inky Vapor. I'm John. Um, just wanted to start this video with a little bit of an apology for the recent uh, sound quality on my videos. Uh, for some reason the uh, webcam software had decided to override my uh, lovely Blue Yeti mic and use the crappy onboard one which is why the sound just sounded absolutely diabolical for quite a while now, there because I didn't notice that it kept doing it. It, was, it wasn't it was doing it in my live live broadcast, it was just purely doing it on the uh, capture software. So again, I apologise. What we're going to be looking at today, we are going to be looking at the Doge V3 or Dog 3 as uh, Congravate want us to call it now. I've got the uh, black and hot pink one because, well, with a beard like this you can rock pink. So, um, and I just liked it. I like I like the idea of having something a little bit, just a little bit different. Let's have a vape. Now, as you can see from all this vapor, this is a cloud chasing RDA. So. Um, no flavour then, yeah? Well, actually, no. This is this has actually got pretty good flavour. And it's an extremely well-made, very very nice-looking little uh, RDA, in my opinion. What we'll do is we'll shoot down onto the uh, table. I'm doing a... I'm trying out a different uh, format with the up-close. I'm trying it on a, on a, on a higher table and uh, putting the uh, tripod in a different location. So if you like the, the up-close a bit better now... Let me know if you're not very happy. Then um, let me know as well. And there's not a great deal. I, I, uh, there's not a great deal I can do about the way that I do the up close. Uh, up close. I've got two options really, and I think this is the better of the two. But let me know in the comments below what you think. Anyway, so we'll go down and uh, we'll have a look. Okay, guys. This is the uh, dog three the box. As you can see, usual gumpf, quite nice packaging on this. It's uh, it's quite classy, I think. Anyway, that's a box. Inside we have a uh, bag of spares, which contains pretty much a full set of everything, including uh, stainless steel screws, a stainless steel single hole centre pin, uh, screwdriver, etc, etc. And an O-ring that doesn't want to stay in the box. And uh, <laughs> so, right, let's get this mic a bit better situated so we're getting a bit better sound. Okay, right, this is the the dog. As you can see on the uh, outside, it's uh, I've got the black and pink version. So. Let's uh, see if we can get the, the logo in a bit better. Okay, so there's the there's the um, the dog or Doge itself, and there's the writing. You've got sort of I I think it's quite a classy uh, logo. Um, if they if they're wanting to get rid uh, get away from the whole Doge thing, then what, I, d I don't understand why they're still going with the Doge meme kind of picture on the side here but hey um, okay so what we have here on the top is a ceramic drip tip it's a friction fit ceramic drip tip and there's a big old big old beefy o-ring that you can see just on the inside of this ooh, in the inside of this top cap there um, if you can just see it on the inside there and that basically just grips that in there um, uh, it's something that uh, Congravate have uh, left unpatented so that people can copy it so that they because they want it to become an industry standard so that um, so that drip tip manufacturers start making drip tips for the dodge uh, the doge the doge dodge dodge right mm -hmm. I'll just uh, taking the uh, top cap off here um, as you can see there's in the deck there there's some quite big slots and that just basically just announced that's your airflow basically you can open and close that's obviously a lot easier to do when it's on a mod, I'll just sort of slide it out and push it in. So as you can see there, you put the, the metal part across and that will block out the uh, 
block out the build for you. Right, so inside the deck, very nicely machined. Um, it was a little bit dirty when I got it, and there's been a couple of scratches appear on the Cerakoting, so I would say that the Cerakoting on this isn't particularly special. Um, I'm not particularly rough on my stuff, and I, I, I just knocked it over, and uh, yeah, it's, it's lost a bit of the lost a bit of the Cerakoting on the top there. So um, I didn't clean it with a Sonic cleaner, and I don't suggest that anybody does because I don't think this would last very well in a Sonic cleaner. So do what I did, a uh, bit of detergent in very hot water and a toothbrush, give it a good scrub, and you should get rid of any of the, the machine on. It wasn't overly bad anyway. Right, so just pop that down. And here we have the deck, the deck. Right, it's a split centre post design. That is C101 lead-free copper. So as you can see, I've been running this. I've not cleaned the copper overly much and there's no sort of tarnishing or black spots or anything there um, I'm quite pleased with that I'm quite happy to be vaping on that it doesn't bother me overly much see um, I've had it actually about a fortnight now and you know constantly been using it and uh, nothing's nothing's really gone now I've got a couple of um, stainless steel flaptons in there that uh, Dino, the um, G Shire Vapor, gave me uh, the wire when we were at the Yorkshire Vapor Vape Meet, uh, which was very kind of him. And uh, these coils are performing very well. They've come out at 0.4, which means that they're ideal for putting on a noisy cricket, which we're going to do in a minute once I've re-wicked it. Um, and yeah, they just they just work really well. Now, the the as you can see, the centre pin is very flat and sort of. Uh, like a block, like a monolith sat in the middle of there. Now Congre Vapor basically said that the the air coming in, where you build your coil, the air comes in, hits the air, and it's sort of like forced to hit the underneath of the coil, and that block at the back there stops the airflow from, from shooting through to the other side. So it's it's there there by design, and that's why I think that the that the uh, the flat. Um, split centre pin like that is is uh, invaluable and, and you should keep it in really unless you're just desperately uh, unhappy with the idea of vaping with copper even though this is uh, lead free very good high quality copper um, some people are still not going to be happy with it I know um, but yeah if you look on the underneath there oh, getting difficulty getting things in focus there we are there's the uh, 510 pin, and as you can see, it protrudes quite a decent way, so um, it's not going to be any kind of an issue on any of your hybrids. It can be a bit of an issue on some of your sprung-loaded uh, 510s on your regulated mods, um, I've heard, but I've not had any issue with any of mine that I've put it on. It's always sat flush on mine, so um, I haven't f mucked about or adjusted it or anything so okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just uh, pop this down here what i'll do is i'm going to wick it up um, and stick some juice in it and then we're going to go up top and uh, i'll give you my final thoughts on the dog three see you in a bit welcome back guys uh so uh thoughts about the uh doge or dog three as congregate want to call it now um, we'll just we'll just cover that. Uh, Congregate uh, trying to sort of go away from the whole uh, calling it the Doge, but yet they've still got the little Doge logo from you know the Doge meme logo on the side of it. So it's kind of a confusing message from them. I I personally you know that was the that was the kind of the whole joke behind. I think I think they're trying to take uh, trying to get people to take the the RDA a little bit more seriously and to and to go for a sort of a slightly classier image in which case why have you still got the doge meme on the side you know it does it doesn't make sense to me how however that's by the by i personally think it's a really nice looking um little RDA um it's not for for a for a sort of uh, a quite a cloudy um RDA it's not actually that that big it doesn't sit too high the mouthpiece is is uh, ceramic and I'm running this on the noisy cricket in a series uh, with a 0.4 build so 
you know it's quite a warm build but i don't get any heat up on the mouthpiece at all it really does work very well for kind of keeping heat away from your lips and it is um in my opinion for me a perfect size let's have a quick vape And as you can see, absolutely tons of vapour there from, from this thing. Um, and for such a cloudy RDA, there is an awful um, awful lot of flavour as well. It's um, and I think that's that's attributed to the to the, the way that the the build the build deck forces you to build the coils high and so the airflow comes in from the side here and just works straight up and goes straight underneath and hits the underneath of those coils which we've known from from various other uh, RDAs that, that sort of the underneath airflow does seem to give uh, a much better crisper flavor um, and vaping the uh, jam donut by Yorkshire vapor in here which we've got at the same time as the uh, as the do uh, the dog as uh, two weeks ago at the Yorkshire vapors uh, first birthday uh, vape meet um, pros and cons pros well uh, sorry we'll go cons first cons now the copper split center pin is is going to be a subjective con for a lot of people a lot of people aren't happy with the idea of vaping anything with copper now this this is supposed to be c101 which is lead free copper and from what i've seen from from using it for two weeks i've had no tarnishing no discoloration no copper taste uh, nothing to make me su suspect that it isn't what they say it is and it's I'm happy with it but some of you I understand are not if you're not then you're gonna have to go with the stainless steel single hole center pin uh, which comes in the box they haven't included a stainless steel s split center pin to, to try and keep the price of the RDA down um, apparently there is somewhere in the States that sells the stainless steel split center pin um, I'll try and find that and put it in the comments, but if I can't, I'm sure you can you know, use your Google Foo and uh, find it for yourself. Just have a quick drink. Uh, lovely coffee. Right. Another, the other, the only other real con for me is is the uh, the fact that the Cerakotin, as we saw in the in the in the close up there, has started to sort of come off where it took a bit of a tumble. Now I don't know whether that would normally come off, but um, I can see it's kind of wearing a little bit thin along that edge all the way around anyway. So um, it's going to be it's going to be um, one that I would suggest that you don't put anywhere near a, um, a sonic cleaner. I didn't. I just give it a good clean with um, hot soapy water and uh, and uh, a toothbrush. Um, now it didn't come completely smeared in in uh, machine oil like some have uh, in the past. I've had problems as you uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know it's one of my bugbear can't stand receiving stuff that's got half a hundred weight of machine oil it had a slight smell of it so i give it a, uh, a good clean i always clean my gear anyway so uh, you know that's one of those things but as i say the seracoting isn't isn't the sturdiest i don't think uh, especially along that edge but it's not kind of peeling off or anything it's just you can just sort of see a faint trace of silver where the uh, where the edges are um so that's it on the on the on the con side of things really for me um pl uh, pros we've got the ceramic drip tip which i think is a cracking idea uh, it's friction fit it's um it's just a, uh, the right sort of diameter for me i thoroughly enjoy using it and because of the ceramic i'm guessing that's the reason behind why they use the ceramic you're getting no uh, no heating up of the drip tip at all um, even using it on a series box with a quite rowdy 0.4 um, ohm build I'm not getting any any kind of heating up of the drip tip at all no no transfer of heat to my mouth so um, you know you can you can really sort of go to town on this thing and you just don't you don't you're not ending up burning your lips at all
as I said earlier, clouds. <laughs> as I said earlier, the flavour on this thing for a um, cloud blowing RDA is absolutely on point in my opinion. It is really, really good. Um, and I think that's got a lot to do with the way that the airflow and the build forces the air in and up and underneath the coil. Um, the machining is all very good. The, the screws are excellent they don't back out at all they're really um decent and even though they i'm using the copper screws you can really crank down on them and i've not had any kind of stripping of the tops of the heads of those screws at all um they've they they're, they're very good quality screws um they obviously they provide um spare screws in the box anyway so if you do have any issues with the screws you can always swap them out and use the stainless steel ones so uh, there is that uh, the fact that you've got a full set of uh, peak insulators, spare peak insulators as well, is 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 great. I love the fact that the uh, the 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 cheaper authentics are coming with um, such a a massive array of of spare parts and uh, you know different center pins and all that kind of stuff. I think it's really good, and I think that the the higher end part of the uh, authentic market should take a leaf out of their book i know that they're uh, you know they're produced in china so that you know their production costs are that bit a bit lower and they can and therefore they can uh, afford to to put the uh, spares in the box but i think if you if you're buying something uh, you know if you're buying an expensive rda you should expect the same level of of, uh, of spares spares can't be that much more expensive in my opinion Yeah, I'm 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 very pleased with it. I I thoroughly enjoyed using it. Um, I really I think it's really come into its own since I've put it on the on the noisy cricket and been putting you know that bit more uh, heat through it. Um, I just run it wide open, and I'm getting tons of flavour, tons of vapour. It's a really fun RDA. I'm not always. Uh, you know any of you who uh, watch vapors worldwide or any of my other reviews i'm not uh, you know all about just blowing clouds or anything like that but i do enjoy a good a good uh, session with uh, with the clouds every now and again and this has rapidly become uh, one of my favorites it's actually uh, kind of taken over from the uh, 13 heavens nine hells that that um, i previously would would sort of uh, i'm still using that but uh, you know this is this is definitely uh taking over in the in the uh as the favorite cloud blowing rda because it, it because the fact that the 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 vapor is so good and the flavor is ridiculously good as well um i do like the new styling on it i'm kind of uh neutral about the whole doge dog thing i think personally i don't see why they're trying to get away from the doge that's what made them famous they might as well keep with it i can see that they've gone for a, a, a bit more of a classy kind of image with it and a little bit more uh sophisticated but at the same time you know embrace the doge you know um i think it's a great looking little rda and uh, i think if you decide to get one um you'll you know, if if this is your kind of a, a thing, if you like if you like your uh, uh, cloudy RDAs, then this is certainly one to have a have a look at. Um, it comes in black with various different colours. I think there's a green, blue, there's the pink, uh, there's a couple of other colours. I think there's a yellow as well. They they also do it in a stainless steel with uh, black logos where the, uh, with the on the sides there. It looks a bit boring, to be honest. Um, I wasn't, I, and I, I, I like stainless steel um, RDAs a lot, but that kind of compared to these, these I think these look really classy. They also do a uh, zombie green one. That's kind of the the barrel instead of being black is zombie green. You still got the black ceramic drip tip. So you know, there's there's, there's a, a wide variety of different colours and and styles that you can go for if you if you're that way inclined, or you can go for the for the sort of much more boring uh, stainless steel if that's also your your thing. Um, 
I would thoroughly recommend it. I love vaping on this thing. It has, um, has rapidly become part of uh, a, a, a big part of my rotation, and uh, at the moment it is living on the noisy cricket because I just love the way that the two work together. Um, so with that said we will leave it there um i hope you've enjoyed your, the video thank you very much for watching uh if you liked what you've seen please please press the like button and uh, if you want to see more from me press subscribe you can also catch me on facebook i've got a facebook page called inky vapor and i also have quite an active uh, instagram which is inky underscore vapor um, if you wanna, if you wanna follow me on there, that'd be great as well. Um, I post daily pictures of uh, what I'm vaping, and you know the odd, the odd snapshot of my cats and things like that as well. Will, will probably creep in, but um, yeah. So that's the social media stuff done. Uh, like I say, like and subscribe, share if you want to, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.